overflows only in love and its failure can throw you inside. There are two things. You can grow in love and as you grow in love, you move within. And when there is a failure in love, that too can lead you to inward journey. Truth is a revelation. It is already there. You have not to invent it. You have to discover it deep within. And this truth is radiance of love. Love is the lamp of your innerness, the light of the within. A life becomes really alive only when love blossoms. Otherwise, it is a tree with no flowers. In the absence of love, life is like a dumb bird that cannot sing or a bird without wings that cannot soar high in the sky. A life without love is crippled inwardly, paralyzed from the outside. Everything will be as it should be, but from inside something is missing. Something which makes everything valuable, something without which it is dark, love is awareness. Love is the lamp of your innerness, the light within. Love brings many problems. Sometimes the problem is so big that it seems safer to avoid it. It brings anxiety, conflict, fear and bondage. It is absolutely needed. The person who avoids love is committing suicide. Those who live calculatedly, whose lifestyle is rooted in arithmetic, whose vision is material, the worldly, the outside, whose vision consists only of the miserable and the logical, they are bound to decide against love. They will call love madness and they are not absolutely wrong either. In the absence of understanding of the ways of love, they are right. They are right because love brings many problems, that life becomes turmoil, a chaos, an insanity. One loses all balance and then to get out of it is very difficult. Then one thing leads to another, one problem to many problems and the problems go and the progress goes on. Hence the cautious person chooses against love. But then he has decided against life as well because love is life. Then he will find no meaning in life and he will live meaninglessly. Then he simply vegetates and calls it life. He drags and feels continuously that there is no dance, no significance, but he consoles himself in many ways. It is so because life itself is meaningless. What can I do? I am for love. Whole life my emphasis has been in favor of love. The reason is strange. I am a different person. I have been teaching you to go for love. Because I know, unless you come to this crucial point where the other is hell, you will never become religious. My whole emphasis is on religion. 
one cannot be religious unless inner lotus blossoms and fragrance of love starts overflowing the pseudo religions that you see around just give you a ready made formulas but i want to give you the real experience certainly i cannot give you the experience however i can show you the path i can explain to you how this happens and then leave you free to experiment with it on your own only if you want one thing is certain if you follow the path certainly the inner flowering will begin if love has not failed then you are not yet adult enough or ready for religion you are below age whatsoever be your age it does not matter if you are still hoping that love really mature that love really matures only then love has blossomed and its radiance and fragrance surrounds you but if you have come to realize this totality that it is against the nature of things existence does not work that way you are you and the other is other each flower has to blossom on its own way it carries within its boom its own growth pattern if you want to taste the experience of existence if you want to taste the experience of existence it is not through the other it is a, a direct journey within yourself you cannot experience love through the other you have to jump deep within it is via you through you and only love and its failure can throw you inside if in search of love you move within you will experience it and if because of the failure in love you are moving inside then the failure in love can throw you inside because everything else is below love as you move within many things begin to blossom within i am against all so called religions because the real religions are not really religions if they were religions there would have been only one religion in the whole world there is no possibility of there being even two religions even two religions what to say of 300 religions it is absolutely absurd it is strange that man, man continues to tolerate it these are all fictions created by different people different societies different cultures and different geographies they have nothing to do with religion as such because religion is not geographical it is not historical religion is not racial it is not national either all these categories are irrelevant as far as religion is concerned can you think of science in terms of nations 
races, countries, historical periods and geography etc. If the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius with temperature and pressure remaining the same today, it has always been boiling at 100 degrees Celsius everywhere in the past and it is going to be going to boil at 100 degrees Celsius in future too. It will make, it will not make any difference whether the person is boiling water, is a Jew or a Hindu or a Christian or a communist. Also, this does not matter whether he believes in God or he does not believe in God, whether he is a sinner or saint. This is the law of science, the existential law. The law of gravitation works the same way for everyone. Every caste, every creed, every religion, every nationality. It won't make any difference at all. Water will boil at 100 degree all the same. That is truth. And you need not create any fiction about it. That in America water will boil at this temperature, for a Hindu it will boil at this, for a Christian so. The moment you discover religious truth, all spaces, all time becomes irrelevant for you. You go beyond time and space. Only one thing remains and that is fulfillment in love and that is that only matters are you fulfilled in love or not from there alone begins the journey of transformation beyond time and space the moment you are fulfilled in love you can enter into anything that's where you can transcend beyond all that is finite all that is ephemeral. That's where the journey of Vigyana Bhairav Tantra begins and takes you to, takes you to. From one thing remains and that is fulfillment in love. From there alone begins the journey of transformation beyond time and space. It is immaterial. 5,000 years before, 5,000 years after, it remains exactly the same. It was the same for Buddha, it was the same for Jesus, it is the same for you and it will remain same many decades, many centuries after. The universe remains authentically same. And only you have to see that are you fulfilled in love or not. Once you are fulfilled in love, then you can transcend beyond the finite. Enough for now.